favorite bump music that we have on News 4. It's just days before the election, and of course, we're trying to wing it with the politics, letting you know the people behind the politics. Today, we're in for a real treat. We're here with Christina Apt, running for the 147th State Assembly District. Exactly. You Thank got you it perfectly. Thank you for joining. Oh, I'm really trying hard at my job. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Now, of course, your district is very heavily agricultural it based. Uh, so tell us what we can expect when, when you're in office, since well, you're running unopposed. I am. Oh, no, I'm, I'm opposed. Oh, there's, I'm sorry. Okay. No, that's okay. There's no incumbent. Got it. Okay. So there's a difference, and that's fine. It, politics is complex, so there's a lot to it. But anyway, in the district, in the 147th, we're primarily agricultural. It starts at Eden and Evans, runs down to Springville, up to East Aurora, and then all of Wyoming County. So we're talking farmers. And the thing about farmers is it's not just about the crops that they go out into the field and plant. It's also about the auxiliary businesses that come out of that. And in particular, in my town, I live in Eden, and we have the Eden Valley Growers. It's a co-op that started in, I believe, the 1950s. It's eight farm families that are multi-generational, some of them as many as seven generations who've been doing it. And so what they've done is they've expanded. And I have three of the growers have their own markets. Okay. So I went to their markets and tried to find, I love to cook when you wanted to, you know, they said, tell us something about you. Well, cooking is one of the things I love to do. And right now with the campaign trail, there's no time. But you did go out to some of your I did. I went markets. to the markets to Droughts Market in Hamburg, to Eagles Market in Eden, and to Zittles Market in Hamburg is also. And they had fabulous fresh produce and some of the nice little goodies that Indian corn that you see here. But so what we did was we went and picked up some of the great fresh vegetables for fall. It's so such a wonderful time. Here. All right, so we did um, butternut squash that we stuffed. Um, we have a pub in town that makes their own sausage, so we got sausage from O'Brien's Pub. And then we used the peppers and onions and the um, squash from Zittles Market and made a nice stuffed squash. We also used some maple syrup and apples in it because this time of year in Western New York, that's what it's all about. And the maple syrup came from a farmer in Strikersville. And the uh, spice we use is from Morton Salt, which is right in Arcade. So all of it came from our community. There's a little even Yancey's Fancy's cheddar cheese <laughs> on top. And then that's for the people who like meat. Some sure. people are looking to do not meat. Vegetarian we took style. a um, sweet potato, which of course sweet potatoes are the rage. They're healthy now. We took some of the beautiful cauliflower that they had at Eagles Market, the sweet potato and the cauliflower from there. And so uh, I cooked the sweet potato and then just split it open and put a little butter in there and mashed it up and then put the cauliflower, cooked cauliflower okay. on top, sprinkled some nutmeg, good to go. A little bit of a healthier option Here's the here. vegetarian, no fat in it at all. I baked the potato, split it open, just took a fork and broke it excuse me, broke it down, and then took fresh zucchini and yellow squash, didn't even cook it, just grated it on top. The heat of the sweet potato kind of made it nice and soft. No fat, all vegetables, really good for you. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. Not this a problem. Great. I can't wait to try all this. Well, it looks delicious. Well, your so you've got to try a it. Bon appetit, right? Yeah, exactly. Thank you very exactly. much again You're for welcome. joining us. If you'd like some more information about all of the candidates that we're on Winging It, that we've winged it with, you can go to our homepage, wivb.com, and click on the On Politics tab. Of course, again, everyone has been here already, and there are still more to come. So make sure you check in with that page right before Election Day. Let's don't go over to, to vote. don't forget to vote. Don't exactly.